Doom Eternal is getting ray tracing support. Finally! We've waited an entire year to get ray tracing support, and we're finally getting it. And you know what? I don't have an RTX card. <laughs> and I also don't have any of the new consoles. I'm screwed. Which means I'm gonna buy 3060, but, but, um, yeah, Doom Eternal's getting ray tracing support. Now, I'm not sure about this being on console, but it was on an NVIDIA showcase thing, and my god, it looks beautiful. Seriously, the reflections in this ray traced version of Doom Eternal look extremely nice, and I can't put it into words how much I value reflections. My god, dude, I... Other than models and textures, I feel that the most valuable things to a video game in terms of graphics is the is the lighting and the reflections and the, the water physics and stuff like that. The reason why I still like the look of something like Doom 3, for instance, is because the lighting is so damn good. The lighting in video games is so important, and if you take away that kind of stuff, then it sucks. And dude, seriously, the reflections, oh my god. They look so nice, and like, I really want to try them out. I just need to try and one day actually get one of the 30 series cards, because they're all out of stock, and 20 series stuff is extremely expensive for absolutely no reason. And dude, Doom Eternal already looks really nice in terms of reflections and lighting, and the way all the, di the light bounces off of certain objects, I, I don't know the ins and outs of it, and it, it already looks really, really nice, so just think about how good it's gonna look with ray tracing. And now, look how nice it looks with my gameplay. And this is me running it on not even the highest settings, this is as high as it'll let me go. I've got most of my stuff maxed out onto Nightmare, and oh my god, it looks so nice. But dude, and the ray tracing, the gameplay of it, I'm assuming it's done on the highest of the high graphic settings, which is Ultra Nightmare. And Ultra Nightmare graphics settings, ray tracing, mmm, looks brilliant. And when I eventually do actually get a new graphics card, I can't wait to try out ray tracing. But yeah, other than that, that's all I have for this video. It's only a short one again. But what do you think about the RTX stuff? Do you think it's cool? Do you think you'll end up using it? Or are you like me and are wanting to get an RTX card to use this feature? I'd love to read your thoughts down in the comments. Comment them, I guess. But if you did like it, then, well, give it a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, then consider subscribing. I might do maternal content as much as I can. I'll cover certain things that go on in the community as long as I am actually interested by them and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's that. I also have a Twitter, so go follow that if you want. And, oh wait, yeah, a Discord. Go, go join my Discord. Everyone's pretty friendly there, and we don't bite. So, once you've done all that, thank you for watching, and, well, have a nice day.